Along with all the lockdowns of the past couple of years were restrictions on our plans, goals, and dreams. A lot of things had to come to a stop. But that doesn't mean you can't start again to secure and boost your future. Meet Future Boost, Manulife's flexible life insurance plan with built-in investments that you can tailor to your insurance needs so you can supercharge your future. Start with the budget you have right now and boost it over time with an affordable and flexible life and financial protection plan. With Future Boost, you can secure every stage of your life with coverage that can be adjusted according to your goals and priorities and accelerate the growth of your funds with bonuses and rewards. Talk to a Manulife advisor or visit Manulife Philippines website for more information. Podcast Network Asia. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Talk, and this is the second part of the 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 episode. Or this is actually the continuation of the previous episode that I had, where I talked about being present, being in the present moment, enjoying the the present moment, being in the now, and the power of it. And so if you haven't listened to that, go and listen to that. And this is actually a continuation. And I'm going to share with you one specific story from the trip that I had this week. You know, as I've said, I've been traveling a lot this past few weeks. And, um, you know, right at the end of it, it was kind of overwhelming to the point that, um, you know, I, I felt I was in a high that I was kind of scared to um, jump off. But now that I'm here, and again, I practiced being in the present moment, it's such an amazing feeling. But, you know, I want to share with you one, one moment in the trip that was kind of symbolic for me. And um, so we went to El Yu, uh, La Union, and then we went to Bolinao. And then after Bolinao, we went to Baguio. And then after Baguio, we went home and before before I went back here in Manila on the way home we were sitting in the car we were driving home and then there was this strange thing that happened the car that we're driving the brakes didn't work the brakes stopped working and I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say this, but the car that we were riding, the brakes were not working. And we noticed that going downhill, since, you know, Baguio is in a high place, going downhill, we took the the Marcos Highway, which is, um, you know, a lot of, you know, straight, or I mean, a lot of zigzags and just going downhill, you know for like a good one hour of just going downhill. And then there was this moment where um, I, uh, I saw my cousin because he was driving at that time. I saw him um, kind of pulling up the handbrake while we were going down. I was like, okay, what's happening? And then I noticed that he was trying to um, pull the handbrake more and more. And they realized the brakes were not working. And of course, we didn't panic. We try to keep it calm, and then we eventually hit a, a place before this sharp curve. Um, there was like um, there were like rocks and sand, and then we were able to stop there. Okay, and but at the time we had a dilemma: what would would we go on and continue trying to play with uh, this handbrake and try to get to the nearest gas station? And then my cousin made a, a quick decision that, you know what, let's, let's just try to slow down at the side of the road. And it was scary because all the trucks, all the buses, all the cars, they were going so fast downhill. And so we were able to just go on the, on the side and just stop, head on to a full stop. And so after that, that's when I realized that, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, if, if something would have, did not happen the way it happened, we would probably end up in a much, much worse situation. 
And it got me thinking, got me reflecting. After we slowed down, we then asked for help for, from the people around there. And there was this good Samaritan that helped us try to figure out what's wrong with our car and helped us get back on the road, which was amazing. And, uh, you know, a side note, I believe that there's always cars and angels around us to help us. That's the way of the universe and that's the way of God telling you that he will never abandon you, right? But then still, <laughs> I came to a point where I had to realize that, whoa, I could have died. I could have died. And <laughs> me and my cousin, we were joking about this. We were talking about, yo, if this was our last day on earth, I could say that it was, it was really nice. Like we, we went out on a trip, we enjoyed, we had the best time of our lives. And if, we, and if our, our stories ended there, I would say, nice ride. I would say, you know, nice life. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for that, for that experience, for that life. But then again, I, we didn't, we were alive. We got out alive, got it out safely. But then I can't help to think that if that was my last day, have I lived a life that I could say that I'm proud of? Death is something that we don't meditate on as much as we need to. Death is something that we will never be able to avoid. Death is the only truth that we can believe, that we can hold on as we go on this life, that at one moment, it's all going to end. It's all going to end. So I asked myself, I was thinking, would I be proud of the life that I was living if my story ended up there? And it's not just to brag or be proud that, you know what? I'm good, you know, but it's a question that we should ask every single day. I believe Steve Jobs said this, that you got to always think that today is your last day because eventually it will be. And that's a great concept to always think about. We should always ask ourselves, if this was our last day on earth, how would I live? Would I continue to live a life that I don't want? Would I continue to live a life that I'm not happy? Would I continue a life where I'm trying to become someone else? I'm not trying to embrace who I am, who I want to be, who I can be in life. Would I continue to live based on other people's opinions and per perspectives? Would I continue to live based on other people's decisions? Would I live a life that is meaningful, purposeful, and satisfying? And I know it's scary to think that Death is upon us. But we should always think that. Because in doing so, we allow ourselves to make clear choices. Choices that will benefit not just our minds, not just our bodies, not just our desires, or maybe not even our desires. But it will fill our souls and our heart with overflowing peace and happiness and joy. Not just happiness, but joy. That we live in this moment and we should never take it for granted. One of my tattoos here, actually, this is my only tattoo. Here, 
can see that. I hope, you know, the camera can see it. Can see it. You know, I'll, I'll post a picture here. But my tattoo says Memento Mori. And it's a Greek phrase, a Stoic phrase. That means remember that you must die. And I always talk about this, but to dodge a bullet, to dodge, and I'm not being overdramatic. I know that if, if like the handbrake didn't even work or um, we took, we, we continued to take that turn or if we did this and we did that, something could have bad happened. I know for a fact that that possibility is there because I saw it firsthand. We were about to freaking die. <laughs> Thank God it didn't happen. But if it did happen, uh, you know, that's, that's what it is. I won't be able to know. I won't be able to give, you know, um, talk about it anymore. But if that's what's going to happen, then that, that would happen. But I know that it, it exists. And I've been talking about my tattoo Memento Mori, remember that you must die. But I do not ask myself that question as deeply as I ask myself that question this time. Every single day, are you living a life that you're proud of? Are you doing the things that you're doing with the thought of you only get one chance at this? Are you making sure that whatever you're doing are aligned with your values? And this is me not pushing you to like go on a YOLO mode and you only live once mode, but all I'm saying is that are the things that we're doing really important to us? Do the things that we give our time and our energy to really matter to us? Because if it's, if it's not, then what's the point? What's the point of living if you're almost as dead? If you're not making decisions based on your life, on what, what is important to you? Funny thing is, like, after that, like, I really appreciated every moment. It's kind of like a cheesy, weird thing that you kind of get to this face where like everything's beautiful regardless of how unpleasant it is regardless of how heavy the situation is it's still beautiful because you're still alive you're, you, you still have that chance to experience it because you can at a glimpse at a moment at an instant at a snap you cannot experience this anymore you wouldn't be able to experience this anymore but now you're here, you're alive. That means this life is special. This moment right here where you're listening, wherever you are, whatever you're thinking, this is special. Whoever you're with, this is special. Because there is nothing like this moment in our lives anymore. This is the perfect life. I, I hate to break it to you, but this is the perfect life. No matter how unpleasant. And I know some people might say, well, Alec, that's kind of insensitive. Right? A lot of people are suffering. You know, I understand that. But I'm not saying that in a perfect life, suffering doesn't exist. Suffering does exist in a perfect life, but it's still perfect. Pain exists in our lives. We cannot erase that fact. No matter what happens, pain will always be there. But pain is just, just this agent that helps us grow or become better. But suffering can be reduced. Suffering is something that we can control by not resisting to life, by letting life flow, no matter how bad it is. Would you wish that the pandemic never happened? Of course, you could bring back some of your loved ones some of the moments that you lost. But that's just wishful thinking. The pandemic did happen. And it takes so much courage to accept the present moment. 
But that's something we all need to do. Become courageous. And accept life. Kahit ang ibigay pa sa atin. Whatever life gives us. So ask yourself that question every single day. If this was my last day on earth, would I be living a life that I would be proud of? If not, do something about it. If yes, then continue to do so. And remember that when that time comes that you feel so caught up with your desires, with the earthly things that you have, you remember that one day it's all going to end. It's all going to end. And maybe in that sense you understand that nothing actually matters, but at the same time, everything does matter. And in doing so, you'd see that this life is a beautiful one. And we should never take it for granted. So yeah, I guess that's my episode for um, this. So that, that so I guess that's it for what I'm trying to share and say here in this episode. If you like this, go ahead and share this with the people that you love. Again, if you're listening on the podcast, then go ahead and on, on YouTube and watch the video of this one to see the space that I am, um, where I'm at. And hopefully... There will be more times that I'll be here and maybe I could invite some people. Um, if you are still here and you'd like to see some guests to, to be on the podcast, to be on the show, let me know who guests do you want to see here. But if you're not, then that's okay. And so if you are listening on the podcast, make sure that you subscribe on this channel, on this podcast. Subscribe on the uh, – subscribe – subscribe on the – Subscribe on this podcast and um, you know listen to all the episodes that we have here because I know that they have a lot of value shared with the people that you love. And again, guys, to everyone who's appreciating, who just sh- keeps on sharing the podcast and the videos that I create, thank you so much. I know that this life is going to end, but you guys make it even more special. You guys give me more reason to keep going, to live not just to not die, but to actually experience every beautiful moment of this life. So thank you. I really mean mean it. I really mean it. But yeah, share this with the people that you love and um, don't forget to spread kindness, love, and joy every single time that you get. And that is every day that you're alive. So again, my name is Alec Cuenca. This is Small Talk, Small Conversations with Huge Impact. And I'll talk to you guys next episode. Goodbye. Peace. The views and opinions expressed by the podcast creators, hosts, and guests do not necessarily reflect the official policy and position of Podcast Network Asia, the hosts of the program, or other programs of the network. Any content provided by the people on the podcast are of their own opinion and are not intended to malign any religion, ethnic group, club, organization, company, individual, or anyone or anything.